tires causing trouble. The showman has become the winner. And the Windy City just took over the track. Freaking Chicago. Hey guys, Mega Brisson 46 here, and welcome to Sports Talk, where I talk about sports. And today we're going to be talking about Chicago Land Speedway. Wait, wait, wait! What? Chicago Land Speed? Of course, it's at Chicago. Freaking Chicago! I mean, I mean, you know, the sports team are a joke, and of course, the wrestlers are a joke, and yet, and their pizzas, also their pizzas suck. Yes, thank you everybody from Chicago, shower me with your booing, thank you Chicago, I'll be here all week taunting you Chicago, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Chicago. Thank you very much. Yes, I know you suck too, Chicago. Thank you. All right. We're going to begin with, of course, with the poll. Austin Dillon has gone to poll in Chicago. And Chicago Land Speedway. And then... Jimmy Johnson got the lead. And then the lightning storm happened. And then drivers getting ready to cover up their cars. And then high winds. Freaking Chicago. Why are you called the Windy City? And yet you cause destruction to Chicago land. Freaking city. Freaking Windy City. I hate Chicago so much. But, however, and and it took, when I got, when uh, after work, I'm going to, of course, talk about, of course, is when I, after work, I had a busy, but I picked up the pace. I picked up the pace. And I got home, and it was under rain delay. <sighs> freaking Chicago. Oh, yeah, I got an idea. Every time you hear me say freaking Chicago, well, because I'm trying to keep it like PG-13. I'm trying to keep this PG-13 because, you know. Yeah, take a drink every time I say freaking Chicago. Unless you're from freaking Chicago. That one doesn't count. After three hours and 15 minutes are up. But yeah, I think I should move along because we are all, we are out of time cards. However, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. That we finally got, we finally got the race begun. And then we got, and then that was the first caution. And then we got another caution involving Clint Boyer. And yes, we have rear tire troubles from, of course, Kevin Harvick. I know, right side tire problems. Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Busch. And now Clint Boyer, who brought out the caution, and the stage one winner is within two laps to go at the first stage. And your stage one winner is a Gibbs car, Denny Hamlin. Yeah, frickin' Chicago. 
Yeah. Although freaking Joe Gibbs and Roger Penske show. I am so tired of the Gibbs and Penske cars dominating. I want a different car. Not a Gibbs or a Penske car. That's what I'm saying. This is rigged. That was rigged. Okay. And then we get to stage two. And we see one of them, Chase Elliott, who struggled at the first stage, got the second stage. And then we see Johnson, Harvick, and Kyle Larson. Who, who's now got a facial hair. And the ironic part is, he was disqualified at dirt racing after that win. And then, one favorite square. What? Mm, now, what that kind of reminds me of. Mm, what that kind of reminds me of. All right. Ross Chastain and Truck Series. He won Iowa, but then he got disqualified. And that win goes to Brett Moffitt. And then the next day, Ross Chastain got the win, and he passed inspection. Well, he failed inspection at Iowa. And then the next track, Gateway, he passed. And he's the winner. But now, we got to, of course, second... Also, we have Clint Boyer with another tire problem, so therefore, he's out of the race. However, however, we got Harvick, his teammate, and he is the stage one winner. And the best part, he's a third Haas car. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That's why, that's why it's better when it's not a Pansky car. Thank you. Thank you, Harvick. Thank you. Although, and yes, but we have Chase. But Chase, on the other hand, has a problem. Uh, with the tire, with the tire hose going down, oh, and yeah, that's not going to help. Oh, and unfortunately, that ain't going to help. And he dropped 18 laps. Sorry, 18 positions. Gone from 2nd to 20th. But, however... But, however... And then we got... Tire issues. For Kyle Busch. Tire issues for Kyle Busch. And then we get. And then we got another one for Clint Boyer. Caution's out. And then we got another problem with, of course. With, of course. You know. <laughs> But we got, of course, <laughs> another Harvick problem. And then, oh, you know what? That was one of my fellow NASCAR drivers, favorite driver before she died. Uh, before she was killed in a car accident. Yeah, true that. Uh, sadly, Harvick has to go find victory lane before before the playoffs, or he's gonna have to wait till Bristol after Bristol, then he gets locked in because Darlington, Bristol, and Indianapolis are the ones that will, of course, of course, will be a do or die situation. But you know what? Of course, don't worry, and we got. Kyle Larson, Alex the Showman Bowman, and Jimmy Johnson. And then, of course, we got, of course, <laughs> wait, 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 Joey Logano. No, 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 no,
No, we don't want Joey. We don't want another Pesky car winning. And oh, for her, oh, for God's sakes. Gibbs, really? <sighs> I really hate the Pansky and Gibbs show right now. Or Gibbs and Pansky, or who the hell cares? Don't, that, that's what's been the season that, that has been all on. But in then, Kyle Larson had catched up to Alex Bowman. And then, he got it. But, six laps to go, the showman ain't going for second place. Because, he's been a bridesmaid for so long. Oh wait, okay, three times he's been the bridesmaid. For three times he's been, he had been the bridesmaid. But, not anymore, because Alex Bowman is now the winner. Yep, we did it. Not a Penske, not a Gibbs, a Hendrick car. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> yep, now he's on a list of favorite drivers, and Alex Bowman, the showman, is on second. Well, you know, sorry, sorry, man, but uh, Chase Elliott is right now the favorite since Del Jr. retired. But although, Alex Bowman, you know, it's been five years since your career has skyrocketed. You went from a part-timer to a seat filler, and now you're a full-time. Now you're a full-timer. Went from a small team to someone big in a different manufacturer, Chevrolet. Major congratulations to you, Alex Bowman. You deserve that win. It looks like a, a, I want to call it a Gibbs and Penske show cancellation, but I call it Penske and Gibbs show featuring Hendrick. Because, you know, because I love this. Now, Samba. <laughs> We're going to go Samba lessons. <laughs> Alright guys. And we're going to do this. And remember guys. Fight, fight, fight. Win, race, race, race. And win, win, win. Okay, guys. Mega versus 46 here. And, yes, and that was my persona for uh, best, of course. And, well, this episode was a uh, best, uh, was, of course, all smiles, but, but this is the uh, sports talk after show. Well, even though even though this is the uh, saddest moment. Right now, this is not a uh, good moment. Because I am, you know. And this is where I'm not. Because we, unfortunately, have some sad news. Regarding to one of the YouTubers. And a key part of the Phantom Menace was, of course, that Star Wars girl, real name Anna, whose real name is Anna, who has a Twitter called that Star Wars girl seventy seven. She she had lost her little sister Ellen, which is of course sad, and I was saddened by by this news. So, everyone, if you go to uh, that Star Wars girl Twitter page, make sure to send her, make sure to send her your thoughts and prayers at this time. 
for this difficult time. Because I beg, I'm not begging you guys. It's just, you know, just a request. Please send that Star Wars girl or Anna your thoughts and prayers for the loss of her little sister. Thank you guys. And I will see you guys next time.